Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Thank you for always stopping by. In today's video, I want to share with us a recipe you should use if people don't favor you, if people hate you for no reason, if you hardly receive favor from people, or if you are the type that when you help people, they will always pay you back with evil. There are many of us like that. Anytime you do good for people, they must surely pay you back with evil. You will bring your brother or your sister abroad to come and stay with you and hustle. The person will turn to your enemy. You will invite your brother or your sister to your place for him or her to have a good living. The person will turn to your enemy to, tomorrow. You help a friend. The person will turn to your enemy tomorrow. There are people like that. You borrow somebody money because the person is, is in dying need of that money. And when it's time for payback, it will turn up to police case. So if you are facing any of this and more, please, this video is going to help you. Or you have people around you that can help change your status and they don't care. They don't help even when you tell them your problems. They will promise to help at the end of the day. They will block you or even, they will not even pick your calls. So when you are battling with this, there are things you need to do. Just get the ingredients I want to share with us. Prepare this and start using it to take your bath. You will do this bath just for seven days, morning and night. By the grace of God, you must testify. The first thing you are going to be needing is honey, original honey. We know that honey is a sweetener. Honey helps to sweeten our both our physical and spiritual life. The way it tastes in our tea, in our drink, that is the way it you know, changes the taste of our spiritual life. So if you're the type battling with hatred, rejection, poverty, stagnation, honey is there to help change your status, to help sweeten your life so that your life will be sweet again. So another thing you'll be needing is our salt. Yes, you can use sea salt, local salt, any salt you have, you're good to go. So if you have sea salt, go ahead and use it. If you have your normal kitchen salt, go ahead and use it. Another thing you'll be needing is our fresh tomatoes. So this one is frozen, the thing just defrosted. So you'll be needing your fresh tomatoes. Then another thing you're going to be needing is our black soap. Yes, but if you cannot get this Ghana black soap, just use your regular better soap. They will, any soap you use in taking your bath, you can use it. Then the last but not the least is bitter cola. Yes, for those of us that cannot get bitter cola, you can uh, do, do without the bitter cola. But if you can get bitter cola, please use it. The bitter cola here is used for protection, to remove negative energies, to remove negative eyes. That is making things not to work well for us. So after getting all your ingredients, of course, you know you are going to get your mortar or anything you can use to mix together. So you need your mortar and a white container like this. You can use a white plate. If you don't have this kind of container, you can use a white plate. So when you gather all your ingredients, you pound. In the process of pounding, if it's too thick, you can add a little water. If you don't have warm water, you can take your tap water, add to it, and you know, use it. Uh, then after turning everything, you save it in this container. You are going to make a little quantity that you, you can use for seven days. Make sure on the seven day the soap finishes. Don't uh, allow it to have. Uh, uh, don't. Uh, it is not supposed to remain. The soap is supposed to finish on the seven day. So as you pound, after pounding, you can use. You know, you can calculate and know how you use it. So it's going to last for you for seven days. So if you're using this Ghana soap, don't pound all of them, just take a little. Because you know it foams very well. Just take a little, the one that will last for you for seven days when you use it morning and night. Then how do you use it? After pounding, store it in a white container. It must be a white container. In the morning when you're taking your bath, you pray. Before you start using the soap, you pray. Tell God to remove every spirit of coverage, every spirit of disfavor, every spirit of hatred, every spirit of stagnation whatever it is that make you each time you help people they will always pay you back for evil people that are supposed to favor you they don't favor you people that you come in contact with they don't always like you they always hate you for no reason even when you try your best to be good to them they must always help and hate you there are people like that 
they have not done anything to them. Even when you go to ask them, what have you done to them that is making them to hate you? They will tell you you've not done anything to them. It's not that they don't like your person. Yes. For the ones that are truthful, they will say the ones that are not truthful, they will quarrel with you. They will tell you to get out from their presence. So if you notice that, maybe in your place of work, every new start that comes, the person will just turn against you. Even the old ones, all of them will hate you for no reason. Where you live, you are the last tenant that packed in there. You've not offended anybody, but they just hate you. Even the new ones that are packing in, they will just be hating on you for no reason. Yeah, you do your business. People will not want to buy from you. People will not want to associate with you. You've not offended anybody. You've not quarreled with anybody. Just because you have the mark of rejection, mark of hatred following you everywhere you go. People will hate on you without you offending them. So after doing that, you pray, you know your problems, you know what it is that is giving you sleepless nights. The tomatoes you are going to be needing three pieces of tomatoes. The bitter cola you are going to be needing three pieces or seven pieces. Okay, then the salt will be one tablespoon of salt. That is all you need. The honey, add enough honey. The quantity you want, add enough honey because honey is the major ingredient in this recipe. So after that, you use it to take your bath. You can use local sponge. If you don't have local sponge, use your regular sponge. But local sponge is very perfect for this kind of cleansing bath. This is a powerful cleansing bath against negative energies, against hatred, against rejection, against poverty. This soap helps to attract good things to your life. Anybody that is against you, against your spirit, the person will not the person will start avoiding it because your spirit will be stronger than that person's spirit. If you live around people that envy you for no reason, you will see them, if they cannot, you know, be friends with you, they will start avoiding you. They will stop gossiping about you. So there, are people that, there are people that, when you pass, they will start talking negative things about you. They have not done any business with you. They don't even know you in person, but just that your spirit irritates them. They will keep lying against you. They keep saying evil things about you. Sometimes when you listen to the things they say about you, you want to fight. You even want to go mad. But because if you're a spiritual person, you know that it's not an ordinary thing. So prepare this soap, use it to take your bath. For those that will ask me, can they prepare it for their family? Yes, you can prepare for the family, but you have to prepare it separately. If you're preparing for seven people, you have to make it seven times for them to use. Don't prepare it in a big bowl and share, no, to avoid negative energies, you know, attracting negative energies. Then in the morning, you bathe with it. At night, you bathe with it. Just for seven days, your testimony will be guaranteed. You will see everything by yourself through, the, through your dreams. And make sure you share your testimony under the comment section when you get one. I've come to the end of today's video. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Bye-bye.